Okay, today I'm going to shoot a little video called Hammers and Vice. This is what it takes to run a clock shop. First we have a rubber mallet. Then we have a large ball peen hammer. And this is a smaller ball peen hammer. I use this one a lot. Uh, when you use when you use these hammers, I mainly use this end. Hardly ever use the fat end. This hammer belonged to my grandfather. Goes back to around 1920. This is a sledgehammer. Sometimes I gotta get mean. Always have to have a claw hammer. Then we have a brass hammer, small one. Then we have a lot another brass hammer, larger one. Then we come into my little riveting hammers. This is a uh, an old riveting hammer. Again, I mainly use this in to rivet uh, pins. And then I have a smaller one. These are called jeweler's hammers. Then I have a smaller one yet. And then I have a little teeny one. Really small. Those are the hammers that I use to run a clock shop. And now we'll look at vices. This is a tool you can't purchase anymore. This is what's known as a hand vise. Very, very handy. And on this bench is my grandfather's vice. This goes back to like 1915 or so. It's I can move this and flex it. It's got a little anvil on the back. And then we'll walk about. Now on this bench, I have the large vise. This can do anything. It's got a big jaw, and it tips over, and it's also got pipe on the other side. It's very, very handy. Then on every one of my benches, I have a vise. This is a little uh, smooth jaw vise so it doesn't mar the object you're working on. And then over here on this bench is another smooth jaw vise, a little bit bigger. You can see all the file marks on it. And then over here on this bench, this is mainly where I do watch work, there's another smooth jaw vise nice and smooth in there and you can see all the marks where it's been hammered and filed and on this last bench is a rough jaw so it's a gripper whenever I put in there it'll really grip and it's got an anvil on the back so that's today's hammers and vices